Hello there, and welcome to the family of M-Files users. In this video, we'll be looking at the M-Files desktop application and its user interface. Ready? Let's go. Oh, by the way, you don't need to know everything about M-Files just yet. There are more videos regarding all these different parts I'm going to show, so just lean back and enjoy. Now this is M-Files. Up here, you can see the name of the vault we are currently working in. Vault is where all information is stored in M-Files. In the middle, you can find four quick views. Within Browse, there are plenty of views for you to dive into, and you can even create your own if you wish. Views are basically saved searches based on metadata, which you can use to browse information in M-Files. In Recently Accessed by Me, you see everything you've accessed within the past 30 days. Assigned to Me shows all your assignments, and Checked Out to Me lists everything you currently have reserved for modification. From the Create button, you can create new documents and other objects directly in M-Files. Up here we have the Quick Search, which you can use just like any text search by typing in the search terms and letting M-Files do the rest. Under this button, you can find the search options to use metadata values as search phrases. And on the right-hand side, the Filters tab, which you can use to further narrow down your search results. As you see, the middle section with the quick views also works as a listing area for the search results. And whenever you want to return to the home page, just click the M-Files logo or the Home tab. Now take a look at this. This is awesome. The Pinned tab. Using this is like saving information on your computer desktop to access it frequently. Just drag and drop objects to this area or right-click to pin them. Let's talk about the metadata card. This information is the driving force of the system and every piece of information in M-Files has one of these. Metadata makes it easy for you and your fellow users to find this document later on, so make sure to keep this information up to date. From these icons on the option ribbon, you can choose to follow this object, pin it, or mark as your favorite to find it later from the favorites view. Did you already notice this tab here? Here, you can preview the content of the document without even opening it in a window of its own. Nice! The last thing we'll be looking at is the user menu. Here you will find more functions that you might find helpful. For instance, assigning a substitute user for yourself when you're absent, or changing the interface or vault language. All right, now you're a bit more familiar with your new system. And I hope you enjoyed the ride. But if any of this was confusing, don't worry. There are more in-depth videos for all these different parts. See you there.